Good morning, my beautiful friends. I believe that the morning routine is one of the most important things that you can do. And then if you want to upgrade it, I'll also share my evening routine too, because how you wind down for sleep is really important as well. I'm going to show you how I do my breath work in the morning and then how I do my meditation. And if you want the extended version, that's going to be included on my website which I'm working on. Okay, so <laughs> welcome to the breath work. This is how I start my morning every morning and it's called pyramid breath work. And essentially what you're gonna be doing is when you breathe in, you're gonna be arching and breathing in as much as you can. It doesn't matter if it's through your nose or your mouth. Sometimes I like to keep it through my nose, but for this purpose, I just wanna get as much air as you in and let your belly expand, okay? You really wanna switch in your life to start breathing through your nose. So you wanna breathe in through your nose and mouth. Oh, I don't know why I keep saying that. Arch your back, and then you're gonna go. <sighs> breathe out and round your back. And then you're gonna breathe in and breathe out. <sighs> like that. So you can bring your neck and your head into it. And what this is doing simultaneously as giving more room for the air and then giving more room to push out the air, you are lubricating and bringing more circulation to your spine. Us and our spines are so intimately related. Like that is where all of your nerves travel up, your spinal fluid, your vertebrae. Like if you have a strong, tall, well lubricated and circulated spine, like you are golden. You can do this and it's simultaneously also going to help release emotions, tension, add more oxygen and just start your day right, okay? If you're, if you're a guy or a girl who's like after that thrill, you know, you like wanna climb the corporate right ladder, you wanna make all the money, you wanna have all these great experiences, you can feel the same way by doing breath work. You don't even need to do all those crazy things. You can just do breath work and feel high, okay? So we're gonna breathe in, like that. And if you wanna arch your back, your lower back too. I'm sitting on like a little cushion because it makes it easier for me to rotate my body. And you're just gonna keep doing this and breathing for 33 times, okay? And at the end of the 33rd time, you're gonna breathe in and you're gonna hold it at the top, I like to hold it for as long as I can, um, but I think if you hold it for like 15 seconds, that's probably good. And then you're gonna breathe all of your air out after that first round, and you're gonna flex. I like to flex every muscle in my body I can think of. <laughs> your jaw too, your legs, your feet, your toes, and then you're gonna release, and then just sit there for a few moments. And then you're gonna do <laughs> another round of 33. So after you feel like you've kind of come down a little bit, you start it again. And you can make sound. You want to hear the air coming in and the air coming out. And you can go, you can moan a little bit. Feels good, you know, get into it. And at the end of that one, I like to breathe all the air out. And then I hold it at the bottom. No air in my lungs. And there's a whole thing too where it's, it's just as important for your lungs to get oxygen as it is to hold in um, carbon dioxide too. So that's an interesting thing that I learned. So doing both the inhale hold full and the exhale hold full are really good for you. And then you're gonna calm down a little bit and then you're gonna do your third round. And your third round, you're doing the same thing for 33 times. And then at the end of that, you're gonna breathe all the way in, hold, five or 10 seconds, and then you're gonna let it out and you're gonna do a sound release. This is one of my favorite ones and you can get as crazy or as normal as you want with this. And so you're gonna sound release. So you're gonna breathe in and release. <laughs> when you are weird, when you let yourself fully express, you give others the permission to do so too. So if you're ever nervous and worried what others will think of you, what you're doing, everyone wants to be a little bit more expressive. In this life, like we put ourselves in so much bondage. And so when you see others doing that, even though you might be uncomfortable, it's because you know that you possess that skill too. And like, we wanna get over that. We wanna get over that fear of being ourselves in front of people or being weird in front of people and just surround yourself with people that don't give a shit. That's like the biggest thing. Like nobody in my life 
judges me for my expression and that allows me my freedom. I also don't care if they do because <laughs> I validate myself. If you hear little screeches, my cat's playing with the toy. Just like let whatever is in you, whatever tension, whatever sorrow, whatever anger, whatever pain, anything, anything that's coming up for you in your breath work, that's the time to let go of it and to release it. And I usually do that three times. And then you're gonna sit here. So you're gonna just feel all that power and energy in your body, your blood circulating. I usually just feel like I'm like electric, like I could like shock someone if I touch them after doing this. Power pose is so good, it releases endorphins. And anytime you show your neck and your heart, this is signaling to your body that you are safe and um, you don't need to protect yourself. It's like, so there's this idea when you're coming in and your head's down, and your crouch around. What this is doing is it's actually protecting all of your vitals. Our bodies are really intelligent. <laughs> so if you're really crouched down and you're hunched over all the time, you're signaling to your body that you don't feel safe and it's gonna create the endorphins to keep you scared and protected. So I find that when I'm doing this power pose. So this is like, a, not only am I safe, but I trust everyone around me not to slash my neck <laughs> and stab me. I'm just letting this hold energy and then I bring my hands to my heart uh, and I feel the energy in my heart and in my chest that I've created. Just sit here for a second and then I let my hands fall and I get into meditation. And so my meditation can be different for everyone. If you're new to meditation, I recommend uh, checking out some guided meditations. There's so many meditation apps out there now. Uh, I used Headspace like years ago. They've got a good little free 10 day challenge. Uh, my sister makes really beautiful meditations. There's a bunch of free ones, but you can also subscribe to her. She's purely being uh, meditations on Spotify. I'll include a link down below. I'm like super proud of her and I actually do her meditations a lot. Hers involve like um, more visualization and a lot of like um, work around like just opening up and, and being more yourself and they're just beautiful so i really like those recently i've just been doing my own guided meditation i don't set a timer i like to say affirmations out loud before i start so i am love i am safe i am whole i am here and then i like to have my hands turned up i feel like it's like kind of a point of receiving it really doesn't matter as long as you're comfortable um and i always really like to try and keep my spine straight and remember, even just trying to stand up taller, like that's a, that's a bit of a, it's like a workout. You're getting, letting all the muscles around your spine learn to hold this kind of, like there's a string on the top of your head. And then I just sit and I watch my breathing. I can do body scans where you just like, like an MRI, you start in your toes, you work your way up or you go your head down and just checking if there's any tension. So I'll just sit there for five minutes, 10 minutes, sometimes 30. And I've also been adding toning and singing lately. So I learned this, this piece is from uh, Hitomi on YouTube. She does the vowels and she tones them. So you can go A, E, and you can hold it for your whole breath. I owe you. You can ohm if you're comfortable doing ohm, the sound of all existence. But yeah, when I've been getting ready, I've been really wanting to like clear any energy I have blocked in my throat. I have had in the past a difficult time speaking my truth and I'm stepping now into the ability to do so with you guys and be comfortable just being disliked or creating conflict, but making sure that I can just be totally myself and share myself with the world and I don't need to worry about their reaction to me. I actually believe that when you trigger people, you're doing God's work, <laughs> God's source, the universe, whatever, like getting triggered. And I, th I know a lot of artists that believe this too. Like it's just part of life. Like we're just these little awarenesses bouncing off of people. Everything in existence is a mirror to you and how you're feeling right now in this current state. So the more that you can get triggered and learn about yourself and reflect on yourself in order to make changes or have new perspectives or new understandings or a deeper knowing, like you're golden, honey. So if I triggered you today a little bit, I don't know what it might be. Maybe like, oh, I would never do that. Or maybe like a little bit of jealousy or maybe a little bit of, do we have a cat? Um, maybe a little bit of frustration or like that's weird, whatever it is, like 
sit in that. Why is that? Why do you feel that way? Why, what is it about me that's triggering you today? And it might be really triggering in a positive way too. Like, wow, I want, I want to create a practice like this in my life and incorporate these things. So yeah. Okay, I'm going to do the actual breath work and meditation now. Okay, ooh, ooh, ooh. I feel so peaceful right now. <sighs> okay, now that we have finished our meditation and breath work, I, I normally get into some journaling. So I'm gonna get my iPad. I've been journaling on my iPad lately instead of a hand journal because I'm working with a life coach right now and I've been sharing some of those insights with her. It's just easier if I type it out. And I also find that I can type faster. And now that I'm channeling, faster and so typing works for me so don't judge if you prefer to type or if you prefer to journal but i will go grab my ipad and share with you some of the journal prompts that i use here is my favorite coffee alternative right now i am mixing this natural mocha brew with roasted cocoa beans you make it in a french press similar to coffee and it's just got this richness of flavor i add a little bit of maple syrup and it's like a yummy mocha in the morning and honestly the perfect coffee replacement. I'm gonna burn some Palo Santo. If you're getting Palo Santo, make sure that you're getting it ethically sourced. I like burning things. It's not about the tools, it's about the intention, but I like in grounding tensions with tools. And so when I do, when I use smoke, my intention is just to clear away any energy that is not serving me, any tension that's not serving me to ground me in the present moment through the smell of the smoke. And you can also do a little incantation if you want. You can be a little wizard. I like to use earth, fire, water, air, cleanse, dismiss, dispel. There you go, you're a wizard, Harry. So I'm gonna let that burn. I'm gonna sip my cacao latte and we're gonna get into journaling. So in my daily journal, I've got a little mood thing I like to add. I think it's important to track your mood every day. It really allows you to see the cycles that you have. And then you can see like, depending on how different days went, how that affected your mood that day, how it affected your mood the next day. And I think just bringing more awareness to understanding what's affecting our moods when and how, how that might be triggering different things, good and bad is important. So today, I woke up happy, accomplished, focused, excited, loved. Those are the moods for today. <laughs> and then I have a rating too for rate my day. I, th I think I might change this to like rating the day before and yesterday was a five because I don't know what today's gonna be, but if, I, if I'm writing what my rating for the day is in the morning, I always wanna make it a five because I'm like, that's a power of intention. If I say it's a five in the morning, then this, I'm gonna make sure this day is a five and it's all in my power. <laughs> Okay, so getting into the journal, immediately I go into this right after meditation. So there will often be things that come up in my meditation that I'll immediately input here. I can maybe read you some past ones. There is nothing that I need to do. Breathe, dance, love, sing, play, pamper. Allow my curiosity to guide me towards things that excite me and share what I learn with others. I love my meditation today. I've been do adding toning and singing to it. The breath work's been amazing too. I love the sound release. I feel like it dissipates any tension or gunk in my body. I intend to find some really great new music today that raises my vibration and will get me to dance and sing. Everything that I need, I receive. I am a beacon of how fun, easy, playful, and full of life grace can be. So that's what I wrote. And then after you're done writing that, I like to get into uh, three journal prompts that you can do. So the first one are three things I appreciate. So I like to write, I appreciate. I appreciate having the energy to create content again in a way that brings me joy. And then I like to add a thank you at the end of it too, because I think thank yous are really powerful. And I appreciate my community for having 
the same desires as me to expand themselves, love themselves, and do good on this planet. And then I appreciate hearing Peta play while I meditate and work, knowing how much joy he's feeling brings me joy. And then thank you. Okay, so for the second prompt, I like to write three ways to make today great. So, to make today great, I will drop off my cameras at the camera repair. To make today great, I will take Yuri for a hike. <laughs> to make today great, I will be present, noticing the little things in life and giving them appreciation. And then the last three are three affirmations. So whatever affirmations or intentions that you want to add to your day, um, you can add them here. So, I receive from an infinite source, and when I receive, others benefit too. I think that's important to just bridge through. A lot of people have scarcity mindsets, so switching to an abundance mindset is really, really healthy for the planet. I accept myself and my life exactly as it is in this moment and will work with the tools that I have to create a beautiful expression. I like adding this one sometimes where it's just removing any longing or feeling like I should be anywhere else other than where I am right now. I like to add that I accept myself and my life exactly as it is in the moment and just acknowledging that there's no other place that I need to be than right here, right now. And that is perfect. And the final affirmation, my day will be filled with sweet miracles, loving interactions, and dance. Okay. And then you can include anything else that comes up to you during journaling. I just think that this needs to be something that you create yourself. Those prompts are really good. I've been writing daily love letters. I wrote one to my grandma, my bubby. And then yesterday I wrote one to Luke. And then today I'm not sure who I'm going to write it to because I usually just take time to think about who's the first person that comes to my mind or thing. Okay, you can write a love, love letter to your car, you can write a love letter to money, you can write a love letter to your pet, you can love, write a love letter to the ocean. Whatever it is, I think entering that state of love is so powerful. And that was a ping that I got in a meditation a while ago. So this is a grounding wire. This is connected through a wire into the grounding port of the electrical socket. And so it connects your energetic circuit with the earth and we know we are energetic beings. I've noticed a big difference since I started sleeping with a earthing mat in my bedroom. I got in my meditation that we don't need any tools, we just need intention. And so this relates to crystals, grounding wires, smoke, beads, whatever you use in your practice to connect with yourself or with the earth and with the planet, with the sun, with the moon, with the greater system. It's that we don't need tools, we just need intention. But I think tools are so important because sometimes we can't really create those strong intentions on our own, especially when we're just getting into our spiritual internal journeys. So I think it is important for some people to use tools in order to kind of understand the power of intention because they can hear that others say that this is grounding me to the planet. And so when I put it on, I have a natural intention because I believe them that this is grounding me to the planet rather than I can just be like, I don't need to wear this. I'm gonna ground to mother earth through my intention. So I just wanted to clarify that. And the same thing goes with crystals. Like crystals hold energy, they're really powerful, but it's not, it's not the crystal, it's the intention that you're putting into the crystal. Like I could say that every time that I held this plant, I would create a space of peace, let's say. And that's my intention that every time I hold this plant, I feel peace. And then, it's so it is. That is the power of the mind in this reality. It's pretty freaking awesome when you get into it. Oh my God, this body calls soaring. Ah! 
<laughs> I wonder if I can get it. There it is. It's just doing its sore things. So I've been on another level lately. I feel legitimately magic. Every single thing that I've been asking for and intending has been arriving, but it's been doing it in such a beautiful way because I have totally relinquished control of the process and results. It's just been about being as present as I can in the moment. And what I've been cultivating lately in my life is that I want to be the most clear of mind clear in my body and clear in my spirit and my emotions so that I can serve the world the best and I can live the best life. So that means whether you believe in God or your subconscious, this ability to process a lot of information and then punch out ideas, whether it's for you, for others, for the world, etc. Like I want to be deeply intimately connected to that and trusting in that and those messages and ideas come when I have clear mind I'm well rested sleep is the most important thing I'm putting good food into my body I'm feeling good about the food that I'm putting into my body and I'm watching good media so I'm not getting programmed with anything negative anything creating fear or adding limits. And the same thing goes with no alcohol, no caffeine. And yeah, I've just felt so great. And I've really learned how to just be sensitive and get used to it. We're never taught when we're growing up how to feel our emotions and the importance of feeling them to the deepest capacity and being present with them and trusting them. I had so much brain fog. I was bloating all the time, stuff going on in my digestive tract and a lot of that was related to my gluten intolerance. So especially this is common for women, like ladies, like look into that. If you're getting excessive bloating and pain in your stomach, oh my God, oh my God, they're just, it looks like the simulation broke. They're just sitting there in the air. Oh my God, they're like playing together. Okay, I'm so distracted by these bald eagles. I don't know why, I just feel so connected to eagles. <sighs> I kind of look like a bald eagle today too. <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> this is the three that live in my neighborhood. There's two, there's a mother and parent, and then there was a baby, and I got a photo of the baby. So anyways, my goal is for this like deep clarity, like I wanna live, I wanna feel life, I don't wanna numb it anymore. I used to numb my like high states when I'd finished streaming and I was all crazy, I'd have a beer to calm down or like when I was celebrating, I'd have like alcohol to calm down or when I was feeling depressed, I'd have alcohol to numb that too and now I'm just like, no, I'm here to feel the ecstasy, I'm here to feel the depressive thoughts, I'm here to feel this life and I am like fully open and raw and ready to do so. enjoyed my morning routine and there's some stuff that you would want to include in your life if this added any value make sure to subscribe spank that like button and join my discord link down below where we talk about different topics and just come and share and be part of the community i'm really really active in there now and i'm so excited to build a group of people that have similar desires passions and goals as mine so that we can create real magic on this planet and in ourselves in our life and in our communities. Sending you so much love. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.